Yeah. Play a T, that's me. <laughs> now, now, Phil, we call him Lordy. You know, you know, cause now Phil has a background. I'm the real half dead. You look, man. Put it yeah, in AKA face, man. half dead. He's an artist. He's an author. He's also an entrepreneur. Look here, man. Now, 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 Lord Inc. He comes from a precarious background. GD. You know, he come from circumstances that a lot of us wouldn't have made it through. Man, do y'all know about? Do y'all really know about? Swoop. <laughs> Man, man, I'm glad you man, I love my little cousin, man. They put it down, man. And I'm motherfucking, man. Hey, hey, Thoughts apart. Thoughts apart. I got to represent Hollywood in the hood. I got to represent the emphasis, emphasis, Corey Kane. I got to put it down for my little cousin, man. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't be pushing units, man. <laughs> what they know about pushing units? <laughs> Hold on. Hey, let's take it back on them. You know, okay. let's, let's okay. take it back, man. Okay. It, it ain't always been fun and games, man. Hell no. Man. We had, we almost had a near-death experience. Man, I had 28 of them. 28 near-death experiences. Hey, I'm the real half-dead, man. They really call me a half-dead out here, man. You better understand, man. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, Phil. Hold on, now. I, I, I don't want to touch a nerve, but I, I want to shed some light on. Man, you were, you were shot in the face by your father. For my dad, but for my dad, man, I've been shot twenty-two times by Tech Twenty-two, man. Twenty-two Ooh. times by twenty-two Tech. Man, I've been blew up in a car three times, man, and I never died. Wow. Y'all ever heard of cat having nine lives? Well, this man, cat, this cat, cat ain't got, got nothing like on me, man. 24 lives or man, something like that. Man, put that cat, put that cat in the corner, Now, hold on, man. hold on, man, hold on. To go through so much, uh, wow, to go through so many trials and tribulations dealing with violence to that magnitude, being shot several times, being shot by your own father, man. I mean, to, to get past all of that, man, to get over that, and to do what you're doing now, becoming an entrepreneur, you know, organizing, organizing guys. He run, he has a whole team of guys, like at least 20 of them. And I got at least Street 100. Street soldiers. I'm about to tell you, man. I'm about to keep it 100, man. Talk I ain't to about us. to sit here and bullshit with you. I got 100. I got at least 200 right here in Cleveland, man. I got 250. And East State, man. So you want to play when we could do it, man. I'm a street nigga for real, man. I'll do this, man. So, so let, let me. Let, why, what was so important for you to be in an organization, a street organization? Let's keep it real. You, you were in the Vice Lords at one time. Yes, I'm in. A, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a third in line. Ohio State Vice Lords, man. You did. I'm in this little command, man. So let me ask you a question. Why, why join an organization like that? Cause. I was a street nigga. My mama tell me it was time to go, so I packed up. I hit the street. I got my brothers, and we did what we did, man. You oh, did. that's a lesson, that mamas. Don't rush your sons out of the house. Man, keep them in the house and stop feeding them the bull crap. That's right. That, nah, nah, that stop was feeding them the bull crap. Huh? So I'm, yeah. Tell them what's really real out here. Y'all yeah. try to hide it, and when you hide it, they want to go fight. So listen to me, man. Tell them what it really, really is out here, man. Real talk. Tell them what it really and, is. And that's coming from a street nigga, man. I've been doing this shit since the age of 13, and I'm 38. So what have you learned since the age of 13 and you're 38 now with the street life? What has that taught you? Listen to your mama. <laughs> so obviously you took some lessons to heart because oh, you yeah. changed your life completely around. Oh, yeah. Both my kids, man, I had two kids, man. I had two kids at the age of 19, man. I went to Cleveland Job Corps. The one now is Double Tree now, but that's the original Job Corps. I went to Job Corps in 90, I graduated in 92. I sent my kids to college in 2006. You hear me? Yeah. Give oh, it up. I, hey, I'm going to keep it real. How many niggas, how many brothers out here owe, only owe $1,800? On child support. We're not a game, man. We're a fucking nation, man. We all over the world. Don't get it twisted, man. What did you think about the Rick Ross situation where he came out, he used the... Oh, he fucked up. Yeah, he used the symbology. If man, you don't he know, fucked up. Rick Ross used fucked the symbology up. of the Look, vice though, I'm about to tell you, man. What are you do? talking about some OGs, man? You better pay that cheese. You better pay that cheese. You talking if you about talking OGs? About OGs 
You better pay that cheese. Now, y'all heard it first. Phil just called that man. language. You I'm talk about from the, the street, OGs, man. you better pay A-B-L-E-N-A. that cheese. ABLE and Nation. Now, you've been working on, you know, besides all of that, you've been actually working on some projects, one of which is a clothing line. Oh, Hold on, yeah, let me tell you about man. the clothing line, Lord Inc. Lord Inc. Underscore, he Lord to, underscore Inc., man. Now, t- tell them about your ambitions with Lord Inc. And Lord Inc., about. man. It's about everybody God, man. It ain't about just one God, man. I'm a Christian, you hear me? But my brothers, they Muslim, they 5%ers, you hear me? And they bought that life, <laughs> you dig? But I'm a, mu- I'm a Christian. That's when my granny raised me, and I love my granny, man. 28th, 28th of this month, man, my granny passed, you dig? A year ago. So I'm on it, flat out, and I'm turned the fuck up. So, me and my cousin, we turned up, you dig? So tell us about so the clothing look, line. My clothing line, if you got a God and you love your God, I got it. You dig? Button downs, ties, the whole jogging suit. You could take off a shirt and you still be looking like your guy. You dig? <laughs> you can wear a suit and you could take off your tie and you still looking like your guy. You dig? Now, 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 tell them why. Tell them why you came with the line and what you intend to do with people that's gonna work with this stuff. You know, putting it together. You know. Well, look here. Employing I got guys. brothers and sisters out here. I got brothers and sisters out here in jail. You did. I got brothers and sisters out here. They can't get a job, man. I got brothers and sisters out here because they felons. Everybody look at them screw face. You did. Ain't about that, man. Ain't about that with me, man. We're going to get this money, man. If I can't get you in this clothing line, I got some houses we can remodel. <laughs> That's I got right. some houses we can remodel. Thing, what they need to know about Lording and Phil oh, that they didn't know before. Family. Family. And taking care of your family, man. Whatever sucker you make, man, you got, that's your family, man. You got to take care of them. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to fall till we fall, man. <laughs>